Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 4 of the Newcastle career mode here on FIFA 19. We've made a number of signings so far. We're looking to make a couple more today in the final episode of the transfer window if we can. Now whether they're permanent or loan deals remains to be seen. We do have Chelsea at home to start us off today and that's the only game we have between now and the end of the month. I've added a number more players to this shortlist as per your suggestions in the comment section for the the wide role. We sold of course Christian Atsu. I, I would probably prefer on reflection to loan someone in for the rest of the season and then buy next year when we've got enough money in a budget to be able to buy someone worthwhile. So I am going to try and loan one of the players on this list. We have Matt Phillips from West Brom. A few people were saying raid the championship if you can. So Matt Phillips is uh, on the list from uh, West Brom Reserve. Been recently relegated, of course, in the Premier League. 27 years of age. We have Maitland Niles, who is default as a centre mid, but can play out wide. Uh, although I'm probably not going to sign him, but I added him to the list to show you that I'd seen it. We have... Arno Danjuma Grunewald. Grunewald. I know nothing about him, but we'll wait and see what he looks like. Five foot ten with four star, four star. Jaden Sancho is the obvious one. He's been breaking through into Bruce Dortmund's starting lineup more regularly recently in real life. He's got five star skills. But he's five foot eleven, so he's the obvious one. We did try and sign Alfonso Davis, of course, yesterday permanently. But he declined to accept our wage offer. So I might still go for him, but it would be a loan over a permanent. And we've Tahith Chong. I know definitely know nothing about him. Four star, four star, six foot. But doesn't look like he's going to be that good. Hudson Adoy has potential of 87. So Twitter informs me. So he is genuinely still an option. I, I might try and do a double loan deal for Hudson Odoi and Ruben Loftus Cheek. Pione Sisto was recommended, but he's recently moved to Arsenal, so I'll remove him from the shortlist. Uh, we also have uh, two other players in the Championship Ollie Watkins, to play left wing, Cam, or up top. Looks like a decent player. And then Barry McKay, four star, weak foot, three star skills. Again, looks pretty similar to Ollie Watkins but has better balance presumably he can play only on the left hand side supposedly and then we Zhao or Zhao Felix four star skills three star weak foot I genuinely don't know who to go for I'm going to wait until deadline day so I get at least a small idea of what their stats look like Chelsea have got four points so far from the Premier League season we are the only team to have won two from two and I certainly didn't expect that at the beginning of the season. But after beating Spurs and beating Cardiff, we find ourselves top of the table. Oh, excuse the yawn. But I have a funny feeling we won't be top after this Chelsea game. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. There, of course, will be a My Player episode uh, today as well. It will have already gone live by the time you see this. But it's time to take on Chelsea. Willy Caballero in goal for Chelsea. Zappacosta, Rudiger, Cahill and Alonso as the back four. Drinkwater, Loftus-Cheek, Kante. Interesting to see Loftus-Cheek starting for Chelsea. Willian, Icardi and Hazard as the front three. Icardi scored two in his last game apparently for Chelsea. So he's going to be a handful I think. Not the strongest Chelsea lineup they could have put out though. That's for sure. But the front three is particularly terrifying. Water into a Cardi. Danny drink water again. There's Eden Nazar into a Cardi. It's a quick one too. That's really well worked. Immediately, the front three has me on the back foot here. Superb footwork. Drink water getting a little bit greedy on his left foot. Shouldn't necessarily have shot in that situation, but he decided early doors. Why not try and catch the keeper out? Thankfully for me, it didn't work, and we'll stay at nil nil. Can I build my own free flowing move? That's the question. So far, the answer is actually yes. Ritzy into key. The play that around the corner there to Ozzy Perez. Oh, Willy Caballero, that's terrible. 
That is all the goalkeeper's fault. That was not a very good shot from Iosi Perez whatsoever. But the goalkeeper has just flapped at it. It's a lovely ball around the corner to Perez, but... Oh, Willie Caballero. That's terrible. Decent angle for it. It's right next to him, and he's just taken a step, and that's awful goalkeeping. That should never have gone in. 1 0 Newcastle. It's up across the Willian's up across the Willian. Drink water, Willian. Lost his cheek, Willian. Across to again. Get across there with Max. Shouldn't have committed to the challenge there. That's just popped out to a River Lost his cheek. Can't take. Through the gap. Oh. I can't blame the keeper on that occasion. What a strike from Eden Hazard. He's hit that so hard. And Golo just simply lays it into him. And he's just lashed it home so quickly. That's a stunning goal from Eden Hazard. Bosh. Not a chance, Dupravka. The movement on it as well is outrageous. Well, our lead didn't last long. Eight minutes. 1-1. One, one. To wide to Willian. Trying out muscling with Max. It's nicely done. Oh, but the pass is poor. He's won it back again, though, Philip Max. He's done brilliantly in the end. Shelby, I could look for Matt Ritchie. In fact, I still will look for Matt Ritchie. What a ball with the outside of his foot. Is he on side here, the Scott? He is, you know. And the delivery is decent. And Ozzy Perez with a diving header. Philip back to Key. Key. And again. Caballero saves this time around. Can't take. Hazard back to Ruben Loftus cheek. Into Eden Hazard. He's gone for this shot. Ambitious angle, it has to be said. Pretty comfortable for Depravka. Kennedy on the breakaway. Run straight into the defender in front of me, so we'll lay it off short. Both sides playing as well as each other, I think, at the minute. Go back out to Ritchie here, and I've got options in the middle. One of which could be Philip again. Oh, that was meant for Iosi Perez. That's poor. Five minutes to go till half time. Still, score draw. A nice tackle by Max. Lay that in front of Key. Matt Ritchie's gotten in behind Marcus Alonso here. Ritchie should have taken that on his left, shouldn't I, rather than his right. It's a couple of times. Oh, it's a couple of times now I've been, had opportunities, not necessarily just in this game, but I've had good chances to score with Matt Ritchie, and I've elected to shoot on his right when I really should have used his left foot. Kingsley Coman, by the way, signed for Tottenham Hotspur. Glad we played them already before that move went through because he would have been much more difficult to deal with than Eric Lamella. Here's Philip Max and he's got 90 plus crossing and that's a great delivery. Maximilian Philip can't get to it. I throw in a dangerous area. I just need to hold off everybody that's near me to be able to work it around. I was never going to be able to attack the position I was in there. There was just too many defenders around me but Kennedy's played in. Shot second time around towards a good save. Out the goalkeeper. Philip keeps that in and will whip it back in. Rudiger heads away. John Joe Selby. Why not? Well blocked by Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Despite the fact he's playing against me here and seemingly in their starting eleven, I will still try and loan him. I have a funny feeling, though, the fact that he's playing in this game means that Chelsea just won't be open to the loan. Again, Marcus Alonso finding Matt Ritchie getting in behind. This time he will turn in on his left. Oh, who did that come off? Came off Maximilian Phillip. It'll be a goal kick. Speaking of Ruben Loftus-Cheek, he's going off and Jorginho's coming on. 20 minutes to go. I might make a change of my own soon, but we'll leave it as is for now. 1-1. One, one. Out to William. And I tried to quickly play it through, and that's not worked well for him. Can we work it forward? Oh, still might. Ritzy in behind again. Turn his side on that left. Look to bend it with a world, Ian. Missed the target by a foot or so. Dwight Gale coming on. Henri Saive coming on. Fresh legs, but there's really not much time left in the game now them to make a difference. Aziz Nazar played in behind. It's now or never for Chelsea. Into Willian. I see the run of Kovacic. Trying to close him down. Oh, that's vital from John Joe Shelby. That may well have saved us the point. A draw at home against Chelsea. Hard fought as well and they very nearly picked me apart with the last action of the game. But thankfully for me, they weren't able to work it in behind. They dominated possession, but weren't quite as creative as they perhaps could have been if they'd played a stronger midfield line. Only N'Golo Kante in there, you'd say, is first, first string. Expect Jorginho to be in there. Maybe Cesc Fabregas as well. 
maybe Mateo Kovacic, perhaps even Ross Barkley, but Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Danny Drinkwater most certainly didn't threaten me too much. sterry has gone out on loan now, that's good news. Hopefully he can improve quite a bit over in Canada at the Whitecaps. We are no longer top of the table. Not that we expected to stay there for long anyway, to be completely honest. Woodman up another rating to 67 now. Wagner still well on his way to 66. I'm hoping by deadline day we will have gotten a better picture of what a number of the players that we're having a look at look like stat-wise. Grunewald is confirmed now. Let's have a look. Um, he looks pretty handy. He's out of my price range transfer fee-wise, but I could afford a loan deal for him. That's another scout report, this time back on Maitland-Niles, who actually could be... Oh, he's, he's on a lot wage-wise, though. I was thinking, if I can't get Ruben Loftus-Cheek on loan, I might go for Maitland-Niles on loan. Have I got anyone left to sell? Mo Diame is the only one left to sell. That would free up a lot of wages. Hmm... Um, let's have a look. Right. That's a swift no. Uh, Jaden Sancho. I'm going to say no to Jaden Sancho for now. He's, he's a very generic signing. I am intrigued, actually, by uh, Gulenfeld. He does look pretty decent. He can play either side midfield or up top at striker. Maitland-Niles... He's quickish. He's all right in the pass. He's okay in the tackle. Could be a good, just extra body for the centre of midfield, and then maybe out wide. Ollie Watkins, not quite as good as I was hoping he might be. Although finish it, I see what they could all be green. You know, he could. Be, he's not too far off. He's not too far off Grunewald. Barry Mackay, impressive physically. Or at least he's quick, but technically not as impressive as others. Felix, I'm going to say no to you too. Hmm, I might try and loan this guy, you know. I'm not interested in loaning him. Okay, can I loan Ruben to cheek Maybe. Good. Right, let's try and get Ruben to cheek in on loan. I might go for the double Chelsea deal, you know. Um, I'm tempted to only loan him till January, but we'll go for the one year because we can then always, we could always buy him later in the uh, later in the season or even at the beginning of next season if I can have the way split be 60-40 in your favour buzzing alright, Rublov to Sheik's in on loan providing he agrees, let's go for the double deal then, let's try and get uh, hudson Adoy as well I might try and get him on to you because we've got Kennedy alright, well only let me loan him for a maximum of one year, it must be something to do with his contract Um. I mean, I'll counter, and if you could pay the majority of his wages, considering they're not that high. 50-50 split, fine. I don't, I don't, it's not major. Hopefully they'll both agree. And that was that would be it for this window, I believe. We could always then short-term loan someone in January, should we need to, because we've got the money to do so. We do still have Modi Army to be able to sell on. Oh, transfer for Richie. That's a swift note. Matt Richie stays. Sorry, Virial. Richie will, will probably leave us either next season or most certainly the season after at the very least. Both have agreed. Ruben loftus cheek is in, as is Callum hudson Adoy. That is very, very pleasing. And hudson Adoy can go immediately straight onto the bench. I'll do that off camera. You don't want to sit here and watch me just work my way through my team management. Let's see what else happens at the end of the window then. If we can still sell Modi Army in this window, that would be great. It would then mean that... Oh, transfer for Henri Saive. I bought him back from loan with the intention of using him. So we'll, we'll keep him at the club for now. I might be open to selling him in January, but it depends how much money we've got. Transfer for Woodman, that would be rejected as well. Modi Army is the only player I would consider selling on at this stage. 
this late on in the window because I, I already have potential replacements for him. And often for Kieran Clark from Ajax, we should reject that as well. Kieran Clark is most certainly a player I would consider selling on next season, but I don't want to completely gut the entire squad in the first possible window. Doesn't look like anything else is going to happen for us, but there's still quite a bit of stuff going down in the window all told. £275 million spent. Transfer for Dwight Gale from West Brom, who I just recalled him from loan from. Sorry, lads. I recalled him for a reason. He's staying with me. So, Arsenal. £38 million spent, 5.9 main. They signed Pione Sisto. They also signed a number of other players. Nacho Morel and El Neni have left. Tizera and Santis in at Bournemouth. Wilson out, interestingly. And Ryan Fraser. Jordan Ibe and Simon Francis. Brianton, Perez and Okpaguma. Uh, in at Brighton, Duffy Knocker and Montoya out. Nkunku, Fraser, Kappa and Olmo in at Burnley with Brady Vokes. Wood. No, they sold Chris Wood. And Matthew Loughton going out. Dubal, Kopic and Amian in at Cardiff. Amian was a player that you guys recommended I look at. Gunnarsson and Zahor going out. Maro Icardi, Ezekiel Garay, Kelly and Matthew Target in at Chelsea with Van Kinkel, Alonso. All that happened since we played them. Marcus Alonso leaving and then obviously loftus cheek and and have come to me. Coco, Acampos, Bell, Enrix and Gregoric in at Palace with Kelly leaving. Folland, Cresswell, Calabria and Eze in at Everton with Leighton Baines and Michael Keane. Really? Michael Keane leaving. That's interesting. Uh, Magallan, Pabon, Sibasaki and Clivert in at Fulham with Johansson and Fabricio leaving. Marisic, Knockart, Montez, Burigo and Lobotka in at Huddersfield with no departures. Shrivers, Kintira and Farias all in on loan at Leicester with Jamie Vardy leaving. Morgan, Chilwell, who came to me, Gray and Mendy all leaving as well. And then Palace Mendy leaving them. Ben Davis, presumably. Mary Mandzukic, Mool and Mac, Mac Allister, rather than McAllister, who was a player that Liverpool did have back in the day. Gary McAllister in at Liverpool with Lalana and Wijnaldum out. They might have been involved in deals, actually, rather than being loaned away. Martinez, Tellez, Fuchs and Durkin in at City with Delph and Gundogan going out. Jamie Vardy has gone to Manchester United as well as Alessandro Florenzi. Robert Gumney, the right back that you guys recommended I look at, and Malassia with Dallo, Young and McTominay going out. We've signed Max Chiwell, Philip, Luftasik and Hudson-Odoi with Hosselu, Dummett, Elliot, Dallo and Atsu leaving. De Jong, Morozuk and Milik. Milik in at Southampton with Gallagher and Target leaving. Mario Gaspar and Kingsley Coman in at Tottenham with Ben Davis, Janssen and Eric Dyer leaving. Garcia, Mandy, Darlow and Dimitrovic in at Watford. They sold Peñaranda though, the uh, pacey striker. Bamin, Mabara, Rodriguez and Goyano in at West Ham with Masuaku, Cresswell and Declan Rice leaving. Martin in at Wolves with Caballero and Costa leaving. Interesting. The top deals in the window we will have a look at momentarily and we'll also have a squad report to show you uh, exactly how everyone's growing so far. Offers for Ayosi Perez and Leun, both of which will be rejected. Been some calls to start Leun ahead of Fabian Scher, but I'm quite happy with the way the side is playing so far. So I'll leave Scher into the starting lineup for the time being. The biggest move of the window was Cardi to Chelsea. Thiago and Alaba leaving Bayern Munich, going to Barcelona and Inter Milan. And Kingsley Coman leaving as well. Bayern on a massive selling spree. I don't know whether they replaced anyone. Uh, Benzema went to Paris Saint-Germain. Timo Werner to Atleti. Falcao's gone to Real Madrid to replace Benzema. They signed Gundogan. That's their Thiago replacement. Uh, Sabitzer to Wolfsburg, Tellis to City, Follan to Everton, Pizzi to Leverkusen, Nick Williams to Roma and Kuhn Castiles to Roma as well, Berkey to Napoli, Tyson to Leipzig, Mario Mazzucic to Liverpool, Javi Martinez to City, Bayern have sold so many of their best players, Marcus Alonso has gone to AC Milan, Ben Davis to Liverpool as we saw, Florenzi to United as we saw, Pulisic sold, Philip was me, Zay Luis has gone to Athletic Club, Bam into West Ham, Jamie Vardy, Victor Ruiz has gone to uh, Atletico Madrid. Mandy was Betis, where Mandy came from. Patrick Catrone in at Real Madrid. That's an interesting one. Powell's into Hoffenheim. Onana to Atletico Club. 17.5 is all Celta were able to get from Arsenal for Pione Sisto. They've signed Jose Gaia at Bayern as their David Alaba replacement. Ricardo Koreshma has gone to uh, Valencia as one out, one in. Uh, Spurs signed... 
Gaspar for 15.3 million. Wesley's gone to Sevilla. Demaray Gray is a player you guys. Demaray Gray is a player you guys recommended me for wide or out wide, but he went to Stuttgart already in the window. Calabria to Everton, as we saw. At Campos, Ezekiel Guerrero played 14.2 for him. Delft to Real Madrid. All right, it was Luke De Jong to Southampton. I thought it might have been Frankie. Uh, Caleri to Dortmund, to zero to Bournemouth, as we saw. McGallan to Fulham. I'm surprised at Bayern. They are significantly weakened. Significantly weakened by that window, it has to be said. All right, Dupravka's actually grown up one so far this season, and I've not trained him at all. Kicking up one, reactions up one to boost him to 79. Woodman is growing considerably. Up three, of course, we're training him heavily. Sterry is growing a little bit out on loan already at the Whitecaps. Cass... We weren't allowed to loan him out, and he's not going to see any first-team football this year unless we get injuries. DeAndre Yedlin, a little bit of growth, but not much, but still doing okay. Yanni, is any growth from him? No. Leun is growing a little bit, which is good news, considering he's yet to play for me. Federico Fernandez, nothing from him. He, too, is yet to play for me. I could sell him, hopefully, in January. That might not let me, because... FIFA's FIFA. Uh, Jamal Cell is growing nicely, up 1 to 79 already, jumping up 3 to 88, which is good. Fabian mean, Share also up 1 as well, growing nicely. Watts, Kellan Watts up 1. Wagner up 2 to 66. I cannot wait for him to become a world class centre back because he will become a world class centre back. Kieran Clark growing a little bit, but no overall. Similarly for Lazar. Mankio as well. A little bit of individual... There's growth all round, it seems. Ben Tilwell's growing a little bit, which is nice. Ball control, marking, stand tackle. I did train him slightly, but I don't know whether I trained him enough to actually boost any of his stats. Uh, Philip Max, any growth from him yet? Ooh, quite a bit, technically, which is good. Short passing up, slide tackling up, crossing up, ball control up. He could turn out to be a very, very good left-back signing. Isaac Hayden, a little bit of growth for him. Jack Colback. Nothing out on loan. Jacob Murphy. I'd like to see him grow a little bit, to be honest. I uh, might train him if I can, but I've got other players that I would perhaps prioritise training-wise before him. Matt Ritchie, 28 years of age. Quite a bit of interest in him, actually, in this transfer window, but we haven't accepted any bids, obviously. Longstaff's up one. Loftus Sheik's grown one before. He's even... Well, he's only been here a matter of hours, and he's already grown by one. Longstaff's up three. Penalties up one. Short pass up one. Strength, sprint speed, vision, and interceptions all up one as well. Could be a great loan spell for him. Selvi up one overall despite only growing in short, in sorry, long pass and vision, but we'll take it. Keeson Young, no growth from him. Uh, Modiyami, a little bit of decline from him. That's frustrating. Uh, Bar Laser, nothing. Wilson, Adam Wilson's up one. He's growing a little bit technically. Uh, Fernandez, any growth from you a little bit Kennedy's up one he too is on loan of course from Chelsea seemingly sucking all of the youngsters from Chelsea on loan uh, even though Kennedy was already here of course Ozzy Perez growing nicely Dwight Gale, no growth from him in fact Perez has two goals, one assist so far this season uh, Muto, a little bit of growth but not too much he'll be disappointed not to still have his starting lineup uh, spot but I think the introduction of Maximilian Phillip two goals in three games kind of justifies that decision I think and he's growing a little bit as well so it's gr even if not everyone has grown up one overall a lot of players are growing on an individual stat basis quite nicely indeed I'm very pleased with that transfer window very pleased indeed tomorrow we will have top of the table Manchester City Arsenal and Crystal Palace before the game against Reading in the Carabao Cup. But that's going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content that was on my player earlier on this afternoon. Of course, there'll be another my player and a Newcastle Crew Mode episode tomorrow as well. And I'll see you then.